Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of information based off of some news that dropped yesterday. So yesterday, it was revealed that Big Hit Entertainment was purchased and had completely acquired Source Music. Big Hit Entertainment is currently run by CEOs Yoon Linzo and Bang Shi Huk. Source Music is currently the agency that manages G Friend. Okay, let's go! The acquisition means that Source Music is now an entity within Big Hit. It is now going to be run as a sub-label. As of right now, it is not entirely clear if it will operate under the same exact name going forward in the future, but it is clear that the current staff will remain in place and the current flair of the agency will remain as it is going to be run as a sub-level within Big Hit rather than Big Hit replacing staff and taking on its own big hit flair, it will still remain the same similar flair and style as the original source music. So what does that really mean for big hit? For big hit, this is a mean for additional revenue. They are acquiring a company that has currently been able to function on its own and has a popular girl group, which means that they have been able to manage things somewhat successfully and leverage their own luck and success and hard work in a way that has promoted a group to a level that is quite admirable. Also, Big Hit has expressed interest in expanding into girl groups, yet they had only previously recruited male trainees up until now, but with this Source Music acquisition, they will gain female trainees and have an access to that female girl group market. It is entirely possible that Source Music ends up operating as the girl group branch while Big Hit continues to remain the male group branch. What does that mean for Source Music? Source Music will be essentially operating as its own sub-label going forward. Their main benefit is they will be gaining additional revenue that they can use so that they can increase promotions, they will gain new industry contacts, and they will receive the backing of a company that is a bit larger than themselves. It gives Source Music the opportunity and potential to reach markets that they may not have had access to previously, and also to tap opportunities that may have been just out of their reach. Now, what does it mean for the fans? Well, for big hit artists, it's not going to be much except for the additional chances to have access to more artists for potential collaborations. And collaborations aren't guaranteed, but it does make the access to create rights and set everything up a little bit easier by having more artists within them. It's a nice chance for them to be able to get some more female vocals in a bit easier of a way with less work around. For Source Music fans, in particular G-Friend fans, they will see more changes than the Big Hit fans. One major thing that will likely change is that G-Friend will likely be added to WeFirst and no longer use their Daum fan cafe. So with WeVerse, their portal is completely contained and they've already launched TXT and BTS on it. And it does say more artists to come. So I would imagine that GFriend would also be added to that. And since they have completely revamped not only the Weavers, but also their selling platform, which is now called Weply. I imagine that they'll be added to Weply because they did take down the previous big hit shop in favor of Weply, which is now likely a company wide selling engine. So I can also imagine that there will also be G friend albums that will soon be added to Weply. I'm not sure if they will have previous things but likely going forward for new G Friend items, they will probably also be sold on Weply. A few other things to note. The initial rumor mentioned Source Music, but it also mentioned a third company that Big Hit is looking to acquire that would, amongst all three companies, would bring the total number of groups to roughly about six or seven. 
There are many fans that believe that this third company, which has yet to be identified, may be RBW, as they would fit that mold to bring that total count up to approximately six or seven. RBW, in case you did not know, is the agency that does have Mamamoo, Onus, Onus, I'm sorry about that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anui and also V Romance, which some people in the comments have forgotten because I do believe some of the members have started to enlist, but V Romance is also another group under them. It's largely believed that this is the company that will likely be the one simply because there is a good relationship between both Bang Shi Huck and the um, managers and leaders over at RBW, so it is entirely possible, but there are many other groups, and in fact there are other rumors that are out that are saying that this third company that might be required is a company that actually has a top boy group. If that is the case, I don't know entirely, I'm not entirely sure that RBW fits that mold as one is still a very young group, and while they are definitely gaining success, I'm not sure if they would fall in the top group category, but these rumors also contain a bit of exaggeration. So it's very possible that this is them since Oneus has been gaining some pretty good success. So really, it's just a guessing game, but this acquisition is supposed to be completed by 2020. So that means anytime from now until 2020, we'll likely hear news that Big Hit has acquired this third agency. And it will be interesting to see how this eventually goes. But yeah, tell me what your thoughts are on Big Hit purchasing Source Music. And personally, I think this is a very good thing. This takes a lot of pressure off of BTS and TXT, who were pretty much everything that Big Hit was relying on. It put a lot of pressure on BTS because they were the main money earners, but it also put a lot of pressure on TXT because they knew that eventually Big BTS was going to have to enlist and Big Hit would rely on them to a certain degree, and they've gained a lot of success recently. So I can only imagine how much pressure has been put on both of those groups to pretty much kill it on the market. So having more groups to share some of that load will be great and will allow the guys more, <laughs> more time to relax and do what they love and not feel quite as much pressure. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like it. And if you'd like to see more from me, please make sure that you subscribe. Bye.